Now let's see how we can use the footnote and endnote in Microsoft Word. The footnote simply means that if I attach a reference to a particular word, what it will do is it will assign a number to it. And when I click on that, if we inserted footnote, it will take you to the end of the page. While if I inserted an end note, it will take you to the end of the document. Now let's say that I want to insert a footnote. Now let's say that I want to attach a footnote with this word culture. So let me put the cursor at the end of the word. Let's go to references and let's insert a footnote from here. So what it will do is it will assign a number with it. And with this number, it has attached the reference at the bottom of the document. So for example, if I want to explain this word like this. So for example, if I want to refer this number uh, with this explanation, we can easily do this. So you can see that the same number is assigned here as we can see here. Now, whenever I hover over to this area, you can see the explanation that we have written down there. This refers to old culture of the country. Now we can make some settings as well for footnotes. We can just click on uh, this corner right here. And from here, you can specify how you want the footnotes to behave. Let's say you want to change it to below text or bottom of the page. You can also change the number formatting. Let's say in reference, you don't want the numbers, you want the alphabets or the Roman style numbers. What is the starting point? What is the numbering? You want the continuous numbering or restart each section or each page. What this will do is on a separate page, it will start giving the references from one. So if you want the continuous reference, just keep it as it is. Apply changes to the whole document or however you want. You can make all these changes. Now, wherever you want to see all the footnotes, let's say we have inserted multiple ones. What we can do is go to the references and click on show footnotes. First of all, it will show you the first one. If you want to move to the next footnote, you can just click here and it will start moving footnotes to footnotes. Now, for example, same thing, I want to do it for this other paragraph and for the economic changes, I want to insert an end note. So let's put the cursor sign here and let's insert an end note. So as soon as we go to the references and insert an end note, you will notice that it will take you to the bottom of the document. And let's undo this. Let me show you one more thing. For example, if I divide this into multiple pages, let's see the effect of it. Only then you will get it in proper way. Now we have four pages, right? So if I want to insert an end note now, let's go to the same area economic changes and go to the references and insert an end note. Now you will notice that it will take you to the very bottom of your document. And here you can write any explanation of the end note, let's say. And again, if you want to customize that, you can go to the settings from here and you can make all the changes in the end note. Now, for example, I want to give the references in alphabets. I can change that. And now we have the alphabetical references right here. And it is automatically changed here as well. So when we hover over to that area, it will show you the explanation. So guys, this is how you can work with footnotes and endnotes in Microsoft Word. Just try it by yourself and I will see you in the next one.